And the next victim. Let's go see what she looks like. All right, guys. Well, it's up on the bench, and we'll start getting into this one. I've literally looked at this thing for all of about three or four minutes when it was in the field. And you and I can go and check it out together, and we'll see if we can resurrect this one also. So, again, the only thing really not much known about it other than it was... Uh, behind the house there was a wheel off of it I suspect the last thing it, it failed for was probably a broken valve stem and it, they couldn't get the tire fixed it sat there from there and just never got used hopefully hopefully there's nothing you know majorly internally wrong but again all the cables and stuff are frozen and bent up and wacky and not doing what they're supposed to be doing so I do suspect uh, you know age has uh, done a little bit of issues with it so I'm gonna take the air cleaner cover off. We'll take the cover off the belt access and see if we can kind of get some of the stuff backed off and see what we got. And then we'll start looking in the spark and whatnot. I got both those covers off and you can see that this pulley is drawn in. It's stuck in the on position. So let's see if we could take it and do a little love tapping and just get that to release for now. And again, we're just, we're trying to do an assessment on the engine. Should be good enough. Probably just take the belt right off of it actually. So, let me get the air gun. We're gonna go blow off a bunch of crap that's around this thing and get some of the debris off of it and then we'll get the spark plug out and see if we have any spark. Nest in it. As soon as I hit the tin, I saw all this stuff blow out of the air, the uh, fan shroud. As soon as I hit the air gun towards the front of the engine, it started blowing out a bunch of debris. This stuff, and that's a indication that there's critters got inside that made a nest. So, watch your toes. You can see it all down inside there. So I'm gonna mask up, blow that out, and then we'll continue on with seeing if we got spark. All right, I can breathe. You guys have nest down there? Someone's pillow is missing a lot of stuffing. Guys ask me, why don't you use a vacuum cleaner? Vacuum cleaner is not going to work for this situation. You're just not going to be able to get what you need to get. Right. We're going to call that that for now. Probably have to take that tin off because it's got way too much stuff in there. And uh, we're just going to go see if we have spark right now and go move forward. Yeah, see if we get that plug out of there. See if we got spark. that somewhere. Um, I see spark. 
Oh, you guys can see part, but I can see it. Every time I look back at the camera later on, it's like, it doesn't even show. So, let me go grab the joy juice. A little bit of gasoline. I'll give a little down the, the hole there. Plug back in, we'll give her a yank. See if it wants to cooperate. I'm willing to bet somebody bent that air cleaner out of the way so that they can uh, probably have access to the plug. They probably tried starting it and it wouldn't start and maybe gave up on it at that time. Now let's just see. It'll run and die for us. Alright, Kelly. halfway decent let's uh i'm gonna go pull the shrouds off we'll get that kind of cleaned up out of there first and get the uh bowl off the carburetor at the same time we'll inspect that i'm not sure if that cover is going to clear the carburetor there you go and there's your nest yeah see we weren't, we weren't really going to get back there with the air gun What's a musty one video without having rodent nests inside something, right? Alright, let's uh, get the bowl off that carburetor. We'll go see what the uh, bottom of that looks like. And if that's real bad, we'll get that off, get that soaking while we're cleaning all this other crap up. Let's see what's in store for us in here. It's got a dent right here. Well, it didn't come out like like mud. Not bad. A little debris in there, but I've seen a ton worse than that. That's a good sign. Uh, I am probably going to take that off and clean it anyway, just because 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 I have to access this tin has to come out of there and, and get all that cleaned up. So I'm going to take that off. You guys see me do this a hundred times already. I'm not going to go show taking a carburetor apart, putting it back together. Um, take it apart. I'm going to soak it, put it back together. But we're going to get into this other stuff. Well, the carb is off and soaking. And I was able to get in with an air gun and blow out all through all the tins in here. All the passages are open. So I don't have to uh, tear the top of the stuff off to get this one off to get everything cleared out. It is now cleared out. Give a quick look at the uh, auger assembly. All that looks fine. I don't see anything on the tiller blades that have an issue. I spin them. I see the pulley in the front spinning. I see the uh, wheels turning. So I think everything should be okay as far as that is concerned. Uh, I want to go to a cruise night this evening. So I figure I'm gonna drain the oil out of it and let it set overnight and I will continue to uh, work on this tomorrow. But for you guys, it'll be instant. So it's the next day and uh, carb sat overnight, getting cleaned. Took out the dent in the float bowl. It's kind of they would body hammers kind of knock them out a little bit but one thing I forgot to do is throw the jet inside the cleaning solution yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to focus Where are you can you see down the center of that I don't know if you can or not but there is green caca did I just pick it out? I think I just did. See the white powder is coming out of it. So if that wasn't taken care of, that would definitely be a uh, issue with um, not running correctly. So I am going to shoot some carb cleaner through there and a uh, piece of wire and whatnot. We'll get that cleaned out, but uh, that would be the major malfunction. That air cleaner is looking a little fondled by foot. Maybe it fell off, fell over or something. I want to try to hammer that back down so the Everything goes back in its place. So let's give her a couple of a couple of beatings. I just beat it against a flat block. Probably help us out the best. We got to get right behind there. 
And you think a regular screwdriver? Jam it in there and heat it. Maybe your best bet. There's a tool for the right job. That's supposed to have a crease there. Still need more right there. They say around the flange now. That down in there. Closer. What do you think? I'm going to go put it on the machine. It needs a little. It's a little bit more here and there. I'm going to work on that. But uh, then I'll just stick it up against it, see if it's straight up and down and having a good seal. If not, we'll beat it some more till it. So, you know. The best bet was just to bend that right up out of our way. Now we can get in there. I'll get you flat. Flat me out. I think I uh just hide out. Making a break for it now. It's all back together, but uh, I want to uh, fire it up and make sure the engine is in decent condition once it warms up, I'm not knocking, lacking, racking, making a racket. So with that, I forget which way choke is. You guys remember? Well, we're going to try it that way. <laughs> then the other way. I think we're on full throttle. The gas is on. Let's give it a So I figured the next thing I want to try tackling is just getting that tire fixed. I do want to roll the machine out and hit it with the pressure washer before all the covers go back on, but I want to do it with the tire that's not flat. We got a couple of tubes down bar from the hoard. Hopefully we can get one of those in there. But the biggest thing is to get that tire off the bead, one side of it off the bead, so you can get the tube out and put the tube in there. So I'm going to try leaving it on the machine and see if that will help us. That's going to help us. That's down to the cords right there. Good thing it does have a tube in it. Well, there's your problem. Or I should have brought it to the edge of the bench. Kind of worked. Let's see if we can get it out of there. Like a 
wrap it out of the hat. Yeah. yeah, nothing wrong with that tube. <laughs> How long do you think it was driven around with that in there? We're still missing a section. We have it all? Maybe. Well, I'm going to go poke around and uh, I want to blow all that crap out of the inside of there and see if we get another tube in there without stabbing it. I don't see any broken wires that are going to stab the tube. Let's see how that goes. So I got a tube stuffed in there. And then I took a uh, valve stem tool that you, you put on a tubeless tire to pull the valve stems through. Just back on the valve stem to hold it so I don't lose it. Let's see how well or unwell. This decides to go back together. Without pinching everything. I'm gonna try to work from the the damaged area there. So I'm not thinking that's a high stress point to put back together. <laughs> I think I want to clamp a pair of vice grips on the rim just as my little helper instead of having to worry about chasing it and holding it on both sides especially because I'm a cripple let's go with something like that it does first You guys want to push right there for me? This is the sucky one. Yeah. Right, you just push right there for me. Right there. Come on. Come on. I think my block is holding the tire to one side. Let's get that up off of there. And do I have the air chuck over here? Of course I don't. Let's try it with the air gun. Sometimes you can get it with the air gun. Cock it on an angle and... No more. Boom. I'll get the chuck, but we'll put that on there. We'll let that set for a while and see how it does. I filled the tube up too earlier to make sure that uh, it didn't have a slow leak in it. I didn't see anything, but nothing says that we didn't damage it putting it together. So this is a a cheap machine and what it has like if you want to roll it far distances you're supposed to be able to pull the pin on the wheel and you slide the wheel back and you put the pin back in the wheel can uh, free turn on the axle so the other side is already good and free this one as you can see it's gonna fight me a little bit I'm gonna take out that valve stem you may want to put some air in that tire so let that soak in a little bit. Air up this one so I'm going to wipe out the tube. And while we're at it, the uh, drive cable is uh, binding. So we can start shooting some fluid in that too and see if we can get that to work its way free. Yeah, got to come in clear, right? Probably going to have to take that right off of there and uh, use my uh, special tool. All right, got to go for the not-so-secret secret tool. It's just a uh, cable oiler. 
and it has a rubber sleeve on the inside of it that's real thin on one side and thick on the other. And it's got like steps in it, but what you can do is just shove your cable right in there. A barrel clamp you can kind of close down on it and then you can spray whatever you want in the idea is to try to shoot it back up the the jacket of the cable i'm going to start with uh, some pb blaster Let's see if that'll work so right now it's going in you don't hear it going anywhere and hopefully i can do this with my six hands i'm going to try to show you guys why don't i point you guys at the top we're looking at right there and we'll see if it comes gushing out the top hopefully then we can kind of work that back and forth and then I'll come back with some kind of possibly a light oil I right, guess So now you know that stuff is all the way through that cable and now I can work it back and forth and hopefully that will free that up and that should come back to life for us. The shift is all set. The, the wheel is uh, still fighting us. So I figured maybe we'll use a little air persuasion. See if we can get that guy to, the axle to walk in. Again, if you guys want to uh, grab an end of this and hold it for me, you appreciate it. watch out for is that you just don't overdo it and mushroom out the, the, uh, the head of this because after that you won't thin you won't get it off at all. So I'm going to go clean that up with a wire wheel and uh, some lube on that. We can slide that wheel back on, put the key in it and it can roll it around and we'll hit it with a pressure washer. Make some noise. nice and easy now. We'll give her a little bath. We'll bring her back in and detail it.
I'm going with quick and dirty. This stuff does not seem like it wants to come off very easy. So, all else fails. Like a used car dealer. Not quite sure what's going to happen when gas hits it, but apparently gas hit the yellow and nothing happened to that. It's good to something thousand degrees. Ain't you pretty? Hopefully the glue comes out of the can. Straight. Probably could have let that set up a little bit. I have to pull that off and let it air out. Pull it off, let it dry for a second. Is old. pretty good. Just gotta watch out for those little rocks, that's all. It'll jam it up for sure. So I think that's the Survivor. I mean, to it for what? I say nine bucks. Two I already had. And that was just oil and some, uh, that's it, oil. <laughs> all right guys, again, with this, I wanna thank everybody for watching, commenting, subscribing. I'll see you later.